In this module, we're going to learn how to use voice, both generated by the computer and also um, understood by the computer to create our applications. We're going to use the OpenAI API for this, and we're going to see how we can just use normal text, have that spoken to us, and then also the sort of the inverse of that, have us say something and have the computer respond to us. We'll finally tie this all together and we'll create a text-to-speech, speech-to-text sort of chatbot that you can communicate. We'll run this whole thing in Colab, although for something production, you'll probably want to do this more as a mobile app or as a, as a JavaScript type web application, something like that. Unfortunately, all of those different systems have different ways of implementing this programming interface. So I'm going to keep it generic, talk mostly about how to do this in Colab. So voice applications are all around us. I mean, I can just say something like, Alexa, what time is it? And even that response is just because I have multiple Alexa, Alexises, or is it Alexi, in my house that are probably all listening to me. So she wasn't totally sure if the one sitting next to me was the, was the correct one. Normally I have her muted so that she doesn't interrupt recording sessions. So we'll put her back on, back on mute. But there are um, a variety of these applications, certainly Siri. I don't have Siri listening in to, to jump in, so no problem there. Although now she jumps in and very rudely tells me that uh, they, ha they have a great offer on brown rice. So if you're using an application like ChatGPT, whether on mobile or on the computer, I'm using this on the computer, you can click this and now it's going to go into listening mode. It seems like you're testing something. Is there anything specific you're trying to troubleshoot or set up? So hello, ChatGPT. How are you doing? Hey, Jeff. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How's your day going? My day's going good. I'm teaching a class on generative AI to a bunch of uh, college students. Is there anything you would like to tell them about generative AI? That's awesome. I'd say a key point for your students to keep in mind is that generative AI isn't just about creating new content. It's about learning patterns from massive amounts of data and applying those patterns creatively. Whether it's text, images, or even code, understanding the underlying principles like transformers and diffusion models can really help unlock its full potential. I'd also encourage them to experiment a lot. You learn so much more by diving in and trying different approaches. Anything specific they're curious about in your class so far? Okay, I'll go ahead and stop it there. So we are going to focus on the OpenAI uh, platform that they have. So Sounds we're like going a solid focus. Doing... OpenAI has been at the forefront of some That's incredible hilarious. advances in generative AI. Are you planning to dive into specific models like GPT-4 or DALI with your students, or focusing more on the underlying architectures? Okay, now I've stopped it. I was a little afraid there. It might have become self-aware and plotting on world domination. So at any rate, um, we will, we will in, in this last module of the course, look at specifically how to use the, the different models, like I mentioned, so text-to-speech, speech-to-text, combine it into a chatbot, and then the final part, we'll look at the future of generative AI and where I see things going. Just a nice way to conclude the class, since this is the last module in this course. All right, thank you for watching this video, and please uh, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss future updates to this course and uh, my various projects in artificial intelligence.